hello, hello. Thank you guys. Thank you for joining me. Well, friends, today's video is just a hodgepodge of things that I am interested in as we speak. If you guys have been following me for years and years and years, you guys know that once I find something I love, what can I say? I usually buy multiple. Same thing with clothes. I, I'm a creature of habit until I find the next best thing. So in today's video, I wanna talk about this new style I'm trying to go with in my house. Now, let me clarify a few things. When I said that I was trying the Santa Barbara style, I had a couple designer, hey, Liz, Santa Barbara style has been around for years and years and years. It's nothing new. What you're doing is nothing new. Well, no, I disagree. I totally disagree. Yes, Santa Barbara style has been around forever and it has a lot of elements of other decor styles mixed in. When you talk about Santa Barbara style, you can talk coastal. I mean, you can incorporate coastal. You can create a bit of Tuscan. You can create a bit of Spanish, a bit of colonial, a bit of traditional. You can do whatever you want in your own house and call it whatever you want. Not trying to be defensive at all. What I'm trying to say is when you find a style, you can take elements of that style, incorporate other styles and make it your own. I am by far an expert at decorating. I just do what I like and I share it. And if anyone likes it, they can take snippets of things that I do and perhaps use them in their own home. That, that's my goal, that's, that's my goal. As I've stated in previous videos, I'm trying to, I'm trying to elevate my style a little bit. I'm trying to make it a little more sophisticated, a little more grown up looking instead of the cutesy wootsy pootsy style. You know what I mean? And um, I do love farmhouse. I have farmhouse in my butler's pantry. I have it in my bedroom. Where else do I have it? Oh, in the mudroom. So it's not that I'm totally going farmhouse, bye-bye. I'm just toning it down. Before I get into the nuts and bolts of the video, I have to share this because I thought it was pretty interesting. My husband found it very interesting too. Over the weekend, we ran up to Pittsburgh. We went to Ikea and we went to some antique stores. And we went to this like two, three story antique store in Pittsburgh that we had been to last year where I had great success finding a lot of wonderful decor, primarily French country and farmhouse style. So when we got there, we kind of dispersed. He went to go find the records and I went right to that vendor's booth that's amazing. Her prices are amazing and she has a lot of great stuff. Do you guys wanna know what I came home with? You're gonna laugh, you're gonna laugh. And my husband says, boy, have you changed? Where is Liz? So for the record, my husband made out like a bandit. I said, well, look at you. We have literally swapped places. You're the shopaholic and I have toned it way, 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 way back. When we met up, he had this huge stack of records and he, he was, tickled pink because he says, I can't believe it. This one vendor was selling these really good records for like a dollar each. And I said, wow, you scored. Me on the other hand, not so much. This is, this is what I found very interesting. Now, when I went into the lady's booth, she has it jam packed full of stuff, different styles, but I would say primarily French country, a little bit of farmhouse, traditional, and so forth. And I I stood in there and I thought, no. I was like, that's cute, but no. That's cute, but where would I put that? No. Everything I looked at, I was like, no. No, it's not my style anymore. And I'm also a very good bargain shopper. So I see things that I have seen on Amazon, I've seen at Home Goods, I've seen it all the stores. And when I see the prices marked up, I'm like, no, no, no. I know what that costs. So anyway, let me show you what I left with. Check out what I left with. Two planters. What in the world? Two planters, that's it? Yes, 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 and yes. This is what I left with and I, I fell in love with these planters. The booth that I would normally go to that's French country farmhouse galore. This is all I purchased. And I loved how real it looked. And I thought, you know what? 
If I wanted to do a display with those, I could put this in there. So that's all I left with. But you can see there's a hole right there. So by tilting these, I can take this pick, stick it on the inside, and sort of let it cascade out. Naturally and authentically looking. I'm a maximalist, and since being in this house, I've toned it back just a little bit, and I haven't added a lot of color just yet. I will, I will. What I wanna to talk to you about today is sort of where I'm going with my style and what I'm loving right now. Again, it's all subject to change. If you know me, I change a lot. Now this is what I am absolutely loving. And let's just be honest, once I find something I like, I go a little nuts. I get a little obsessive about these things. For example, wood risers. You guys know my stash is crazy. It's like, I, I don't know what happened. I just, I love them so much. Now my kick is this. I'm on a kick, guys. I'm on a kick with planters, bases, and vessels. I am going a little overboard and I'm loving it. I'm also now obsessed with coffee table books and styling them with objects, interesting objects, whether it be candle holders, wood beads, just little tchotchkes to set on top that gives the space an interesting look. So I want you guys to know, I have put together the most amazing Santa Barbara style Amazon storefront. I'm going to link it in the description box below. You can bet your bottom dollars, I'm gonna start purchasing a little bit here, a little bit there, and I'll be able to show you how I am going to incorporate those pieces into my home. So I think that will be pretty fun. And then if you guys like it, you'll know where to get it. When you shop Home Goods, Michaels, it's hard to link all those items. Whereas with Amazon, I can find it, I can link it, you know where to get it. So it's a little bit easier with Amazon. So I like to kind of stay in that lane, but Today I'm gonna to show you a couple items I bought from different stores, but you can check my Santa Barbara storefront to find similar items just like the ones I'm gonna share with you. So we ran over to Ikea the other day and I fell in love with those candle holders. Huge, huge, huge fan. I am going to put a little snippet of how they came. They come in a box, they come perfectly wrapped and look how beautiful those are. They are such a wonderful statement piece in a home. And, and the way I decided to display them was on a white marble serving board that I got at TJ Maxx. These are so inexpensive, you guys, and they make a beautiful statement piece anywhere in your home. But check these out. Are these not fun? And I just, you know, black is classic. It's not going out of style. They have these um, candles in large sizes and this size. And I decided to go with the smaller ones. So Ikea has some fabulous terrariums. Now I wouldn't call this a terrarium because it doesn't have glass, but how cute is this? It comes in a box and you do have to put it together. It's, it's, it's pretty easy. These little things snap on. I'm going to show you the box of what this is called. So if you decide to order one or you go to Ikea, you can um, go to YouTube and just put in the name and a few people who have built these, it'll show you how to do it. I'm not really an instructions type of girl. I'm more visual. So I looked at the instructions and I'm like, what the heck? Like, how do you put these on? It, it just didn't, it didn't register, but when I watched somebody do it on YouTube, I'm like, ah, that's how you do it. Don't even need the instructions. And I put it together and I got these little plants. It looks like rosemary and I placed them on the inside. And so I'm not sure where I'm gonna put this just yet, but you could actually buy this and you could put some greenery down below and then add a whole bunch of flameless flickering candles and place it somewhere in your house and just have it sort of simplistic, but have the candles going. I mean, sky's the limit, really. Use your imagination on how you would decorate this, but this comes in black and white. While we were at Ikea, I came across this beautiful vase and I thought, oh, I can use that year round. And then I came across these dried florals and I hope you can see how beautiful they are. But I thought, how fun would that be to set that out for summer in that vase? 
somewhere in the house. Speaking of coffee table books, I have also created an Amazon storefront for all the coffee table books I have found on Amazon that I think look interesting. So you might wanna check that out if you want to incorporate some coffee table books into your style. But I just wanna show you how I would like to style some of my things. So here are two decor books. Now, normally I like to use three. I just grabbed two uh, for the sake of showing you, but I'm gonna show you a couple of different objects you can place on top of books, on any tabletop, on any coffee table to give it like a more interesting look. Add a vase, add a small scale vase and just place it on top, maybe a sprig of greenery kind of hanging over the side. And I think it looks beautiful. Take your coffee table books, add a faux plant or a real plant, whatever you like in your own home. And then kind of place the greenery kind of off the side, kind of cascading off the side. And isn't that a pretty look on any tabletop? Take an interesting looking vase, place it on top of the coffee table books, maybe add a little sprig of something, dry florals, a little sprig of greenery, and how pretty is that? This, in all honesty, is very different for me, but again, I like to try new things. If you wanna do something simplistic, get some decor beads and kind of lay them across the books and then have them go down on the table like that for an interesting look. We sell these on Amazon in all different colors, natural, black, white, you name it, you can find it. Now at Target, they sell these beautiful, heavy marble object. But honestly, it could be bookends, it could be a decorative piece on any tabletop. And I think this object would look great on a set of coffee table books. You see, it looks it just looks really cool and decorative and sort of architectural. And for that reason, I love this. Another interesting object, a chain link. And you can just set it on top of the books. Again, it's visually different, it's unique, and it looks cool on any tabletop. You can even take a cloche of some sort and place something interesting on the inside. Here's another interesting vase. Again, I'm obsessed with finding vases and vessels in all different shapes, sizes, colors, textures. I mean, you can really have fun with these in your home. And here's another cute idea. When I was at Michael's last week, I noticed they had these all 50% off and I thought, you know what? I, I was going to fill a, a vessel over here with a whole bunch of dried artichokes. And I thought, well, what if I take my Spanish moss and place that in the vessel and then stick a whole bunch of these in there to give it a really cool textural look here in the kitchen. Um, so I may be doing that soon, so stay tuned, but I thought I could plop this in this little vessel and then Michaels also sells these little smaller ones. You can set these in various objects to make a statement piece somewhere in your home. And again, you guys, this is not new to a lot of you, but it is to me. So that's why I thought I would share it because maybe you're just like me and you haven't really been into this stuff and you haven't really noticed these sort of things because you've been doing different decor styles and you just wanna try something else you can. So I went back to Michael's for this faux Spanish moss. Again, it's it's all 50% off right now. Regular price is $19.99, 50% off. Huge fan. And you know, I didn't see the green. A lot of you were saying, oh, I use the green. I love the green moss, but I think I almost like this color moss for your bowls and your vases because that will allow you to have a neutral backdrop and then add color or pops the color if you want to. But my idea is to take, I have several of these, so I can put these in a huge pot, you know, I'm just showing you, and then take my air plants. And I got these in different sizes. I think I got three or four of the big ones. And then I can incorporate the smaller ones in it, but like, I just want you to see what it would look like. Hold, let me go get the bowl. So I had this huge pot from, I believe it was Ross. 
and you know, you can put the Spanish moss in, add the air plants in, and put it on any tabletop. And it's definitely going to be a statement piece. You can also take your coffee table books, add a little rustic bird, set a little air plant next to it, and you have a unique, one-of-a-kind look. You can also get this color of air plants, you know, and you can create a, a beautiful arrangement on any table using these. Um, because really they come different shades of green. You could do book boxes and then put an interesting looking vase on top and create a, a vignette around this. Here's another interesting vase. It was so funny when I saw this in the store, it looked black. And this one is more of a textured gray and you can set this on any table or a stack of books for an interesting look. And this one has just simple succulents kind of draping over the side, which, which gives it a neat look. Whatever florals you like, place it on top of a stack of books or beside the books. This is actually a Santa Barbara Design Studio wood bowl, and I put a little rosemary plant from Amazon in it. And you can set this on top of a coffee table book. This would even be cute in a kitchen with Cookbook, set a little plant on the top. Take a decorative piece like this and just set it on top of your books. Even something like this gives it a unique look. Or you could take a little vase like this and, and sit this one down below or in front. These planters that I got from Amazon stick some decor beads on the inside and hang them off the side. You can turn your books this way or turn it this way. Place a wood bowl and some greenery on the inside and doesn't that give the decor books a nice look? Maybe add a little tchotchke like that. Just some decorative piece that's going to give that entire space a unique look. Maybe add a little decorative wood stool um, either in black, natural color, or white, and set it on top just to add visual interest. And there you have it, friends. Those are just a bunch of ideas on ways to style your books with objects, whether it be a vase, a vessel, decorative wood piece, a little tchotchke, some sort of decorative finial, anything. So that's what I'm loving right now, is finding unique decor books, objects to go on top, and styling them in my cabinets, on top of my cabinets or shelves. Just, um, it's something a little different that I haven't done all that much over the years. A little bit, but not, not a lot. That will wrap up my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to link my Santa Barbara storefront down below. You guys are gonna love it. It is packed full of interesting objects, interesting vases, vessels, everything that I would kind of incorporate into the Santa Barbara style. Um, and again, it doesn't necessarily have to be Santa Barbara style. It can be a mix of different styles, which is the best part. And the items I found, I feel can really kind of elevate your look, make it look a little more sophisticated and pretty, which is what I'm trying to do. Come back and see me Friday and we will be up to decorating. And I will see you then. Love you all so much. God bless. Mwah. Bye, guys.